All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Shack, uh, getting ready to prepare for this week's upcoming testing that I want to do. Uh, the guys over there at Callaway Ballistics, they have sent me their 223 hollow point boat tail, 77 grain. Now, as you know, I like to run 77 grain pretty much almost everything that I shoot. Uh, it's, it's a very good round and, uh, it uh, is very accurate out the distance and that's one of the reasons why we shoot because we're sh maybe shooting out six seven hundred yards with five five six and you need that little extra bit of weight you need that ballistic coefficient you need everything to be perfect for that thing to run also it needs to be synced up personally perfectly with your bdc if you're running a bdc okay uh i like the uh acss uh raptor uh i like all the acss reticles simply because they match up perfectly uh, so what we're going to do until the membership gets back to me, my little card, because they don't do this stuff out the way they used to at Mifflin County Sportsman Association, we're going to go ahead and just do an accuracy test with these guys, um, checking the ballistic coefficient, uh, not the but extreme spread, uh, you've got the uh, standard deviation. And that's one of the things that we really are, is important with shooting accuracy is that you have to have the consistency you don't want an extreme spread you don't want bullets all over the place because what that relates to is uh different muzzle velocities different points of impact all over the place what are we going to do is i'm putting this together this is my uh the uh, secondary sniper rifle that i use in the little couple of competitions that i've ever been in but in any case this is the baddest mamma jamma that you've ever seen as far as just performance um Basically, it's a JP lower, JP upper proof research barrel, uh, JP handguard, and just all every, everything's JP. I don't think you can get a whole lot better than that. We've even got on the new build that we're going to do, and I got to seat this barrel. This is also a proof research. And one of the things that I want to do, and it's just having an open discussion with you guys, is that this is a one and eight twist barrel. This is a one and seven twist barrel. So uh this is brand new never had a bullet go through it but i'm interested in seeing what the point of impact looks like between a one and seven and a one and eight i personally like one and eight i think it's a happy medium with all the stuff we are going to top it off with a uh what do you call this precision armament muzzle brake this has got the apollo from ultradyne and we even have the same uh jp bolt carrier group right here it's going to be interesting we're going to go ahead and put it together and uh it has to sit up overnight, that kind of thing, because we like to seat the barrels. And I've actually got to jam this barrel back out of this upper. I might not have to seat it for anything. But in any case, that's where we are. Uh, I'd like to thank the guys over at Callaway Ballistics for sending out this ammo. They do sponsor my channel. They provide me with the uh, 5.56 rounds that I need for the competition level stuff. And their 55 grain is really, really accurate. As a matter of fact, we'll go ahead and run some rounds through that, this thing, and that. Also, in addition to... We will be setting up, uh, trying to make sure that these, where these impact with the uh, competition three gun rifle. So I've got three of those that I actually have to test to make sure that this all lines up. There's a lot of work involved in this stuff, but we'll be heading out this week to do that. Uh, when I get done here in a few minutes, we're going to be doing a review on this Romeo one pro. This guy's really cool. I don't know what I'm going to put it on, but I have a, I think I got something I'd like to play with. So with that being said, guys, just a real quick video. Uh, this is the stuff that I enjoy doing. I mean, you know, we get the politics and things like that. You heard about the, uh, the hand guard. I mean, the, the, uh, arm brace deal and FPC, man, those guys are awesome. Uh, it, the injunction applies to FPC and their members. How cool is that? Man, you guys, that's pretty neat. So with that being said, um, yeah, we always end them like this. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. Big shout out to my buddy Lance and also Justin, who uh, actually sent me some text messages and some uh, stuff concerning the, the uh, Rock Island Armory uh, VR-80. I'm really, the parts are coming in on Wednesday. I'll be out of town when I get here, but uh, the following week we get back out to the range. I... I got about 500 rounds of some high brass stuff. So we're going to test out that and the Panzer. So, hey, the life of a YouTuber and testing out equipment and things like that. So with that being said, guys, I always end them like this. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Because this is a bad mamma jamma. This is the rifle that we put together. I hit the golf ball or hit near the golf ball. Damn it, I hit it! Holy 
Please. <laughs> Round three. Sorry for my cussing. Holy sh And this is a .36 MOA rifle. A gas gun. Yeah, baby. It's KB-32. I'm out of here. Boom. Ha-ha. <laughs>